Hello to hello YouTube, Marker Assassin here, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so down below on that bell button because I have useful and helpful content that's going to help you exceed in your business, grow your business, an online business, and um, if you want to be an online marketer, if you want to be able to make money online, you know, uh, certain things like building your brand, building an awareness to something, something bigger than yourself, you know, so this is definitely the channel to, for you, you come to the right place, and um, Buckle up your seatbelt because I'm going to take you for a ride. We're going to be talking about five business tips. I'm going to be uh, giving you five business tips and we're going to be talking about it to help you whatever you're doing so you can apply this to whatever, um, whether you're building a business or or whatever you're doing, right? So, um, five business tips. Um, creating an online business. Um, sooner or later, whether you're a restaurant, um, an antique shop, or you may even be like a some some form of uh, some kind of a uh, supply stores you know whether or not you you're um, attracting customers you're not gonna be your customers are not gonna be coming around um, unless you they're you look you know like there's some of the same customers the customers that have been going there for a while okay maybe but um if you want a bigger um audience like or not an audience but a bigger customer more customers you want more customers to keep coming in you know because it brings in money you know and a, a bigger awareness to like more people know about your store you know and if you don't have an online presence then you're only limited to your you know your you putting out flyers and the people around your space you're only limited you know you're only limited to like that that sort of environment that you know that um per perimeter so definitely have an online presence you know no business in the next few year few years and this is only a theory this isn't this isn't like you know actual facts or anything though but this is just in um in uh business man to man um theory and common sense here because you know it's it's it makes sense that no business will survive without an online presence you will need an online presence whether it's a social media presence a uh, website, you know, you you got ads running. You got to make sure, you know, you have an online business. You got online business plans, promoting plans, goal planning, and budget planning. You got to make sure all this is set before you start um, making an online business or you have a business period, right? So definitely have an online presence for any business you're running. You have to have an online presence period in the story, and um, study what it takes to have to build a business. To have a successful business, to have a successful business and build a business, you know, do what you love, find your passion, make sure you you have the budget to start your business. Meaning, you know, um, don't just quit your job and like you know anything that I, that I say in my videos. I'm not getting you to try to quit your job. I'm getting you to um, be able to um, so you figure out how to make money online. So if you do have a job, you can have you can have uh, more income instead. You have different streams of income. You can have more money pouring in from online, whether it's than just at your job, right? Or if you have, if you're really good at making money online, then you you could be put in a position where you don't have to work at a nine to five job all the time. You know, get up, you know, at a specific time and uh, uh, get in your car and have to drive to you know your job and trade time for money, right? If you have a successful business online and you know how to make money online, then there wouldn't be a reason to um, do that. And if you do do that. If you do have a job, it's because you want to work and you want to have a job. And imagine that somebody already who doesn't have to worry about money, who doesn't, who's not worried about paying bills or car note or blah blah blah, this and that, and who's not really worried, stressful about the thought of money. Imagine a person like that want like getting trying to apply for a job and they get hired and they're working that, knowing that they don't have to work there. This is because they want to. That changes that person. That makes them, you know, exceed and, and level up in that in their in their um. In their job, right? They they'll constantly keep level up to like employee to supervisor, you know, to manager, blah blah blah. They, they go higher and higher, right? Because they're so into it, and they don't they're not working there because they have to. They're working there because they want to. So having that mindset can um really increases can really increase a, a person's um value in the workforce. Is you know increasingly increases like it, it increases your value in the workforce like tenfold so that's very awesome and uh, if you're working at a job it's because you want to work at a job you know and uh, definitely find a mentor and if you make if you want an online if you want to know how to build it, uh, a, a good business and study up on how to build a business find you a good mentor somebody who's already achieved what you're trying to um, accomplish 
you know, somebody who has a lot more than you have and that's already doing it. Find a mentor, you know, find a good teacher, someone you can um you can learn from. And, you know, it doesn't have to be lim you don't have to be limited to one mentor. You can have many mentors, and uh, they can teach you the ways and how they started and um you know where they where they came from. They'll tell you their story and all that stuff. So these are definitely important to studying um how to build a business online, especially a successful one, and uh, how to start growing a business if you're new. Um, become an uh, affiliate marketer where you can actually um, sign up. You can um, for their their program. You can license their product and promote their products, and you get a commission fee for promoting their products. And, and when you refer to one of the and, and they buy that product or whatever from the um, company, right? So you'll get a commission fee. So um, that, uh, uh, becoming a growing a good business online is a uh, you can become a, a affiliate marketer, and that's how you can go um, a good business online. That's another way. That's one way you can do it. Then I'm an affiliate marketer, and I'm also a digital marketer. Um, become a digital marketer is where you can actually promote your own products from um, different websites, shopping websites, such as um, things, example like like uh, eBay, Amazon, Facebook. You know, Facebook's got their own uh, marketplace, and other social medias, right? Or you, you have your own website, so. You know, you can um, sell your own products instead of selling somebody else's products like an affiliate marketer does. And you already know how to market. You can come to digital marketing and sell your own products, and you know, and that's just making more. That's just having more money in your your pocket. And your um, that's another stream of income right there. So another way, you know, starting an online business, growing a business, if you're new, is to become a blogger or a vlogger. A blogger is basically someone who writes content. You know, who types or writes content and posts it. You know, relating, you know, just making content uh, in a specific niche, you know, like, you know, content, like whether you're making, like I said, for example, if you're making a content about water, right? You know, you want to put um, relatable and um, useful and educational information about water if you're making a blog because you can build um, an audience, you can, be, you can get views, and you can also get um, paid for bl blogging. And a blogger is basically doing the same thing, but in video wise, you know, you're doing it in a video. Um, Formation and you can do both, and you can collaborate those both. You know those both to make you can uh, be a blogger and a vlogger, and that can that can potentially even higher your chances of getting a bigger audience and getting a nice story and and, and to give your audience and something they can believe in is something you can believe in. You know, so it's basically about building a story and um, getting paid to make useful story content that's going to help people and people that's in and catch um audience attention. So that you can get, you can actually build a, a successful audience, and you can you can have you can make a business doing this. So that's another way you can start a, growing a business if you're new. Become a blogger or a vlogger. Um, creating an online presence, you know, it's just basically just just have an online presence if you're a business. If if you're um, a business outside of the internet, make sure you have an online presence, and uh, I urge you to have an online presence. Like this, it's you have to have an online presence. Otherwise, you're not going to survive in the next, you know, few rough years, you know, so and it's going to be very rough, especially if you don't have an online presence. And uh, a lot of people are winning in a lot of business or businesses out there are winning online. So um, definitely look into this and definitely have an online presence if you're a business. Um, what was we went a little further down right there, though, but um, we're at the right one now. Visualize where you're going. Um, think about as you think of, already have the mindset that you already have successful business and um, plan how you're gonna um, get to that point. You know, be consistent, be serious, plan, plan right now, plan ahead, plan everything you're doing and visualize it. Know that you're gonna be successful in your business and you're gonna be a successful person in your business and you gotta learn to deal with failure and rise up again because you know. It's testing you. The business is testing you, and your your own faith is testing you. Your own belief is testing you, and it's gonna see if you if you'll crumble, and you and, and we and it's gonna see it's gonna see if you'll crumble or you'll get rise back up. You know you'll rise back up again. You get back up even if uh, something hits you. You know what I'm saying? So you it'll, it'll basically you're gonna be tested. You're gonna be put in trials. You know, and this is for everybody who's trying to start an online business. You're gonna um, be put in trials. So learn to deal with failure, cause that's what it takes to be a successful business owner. You know, I had to learn failure. Everybody has to learn failure. You know, deal, learn to deal with failure, not learn failure, not learn it, but learn to deal with failure. So 
um, very important visualize realistic visualize realistically how okay I see it visualize realistically how your business will take off and remember the steps you took always remember because you you know you want to look back at a see, you know your mistakes you've made you know because you the more mistakes you make the more you should learn so don't think of mistakes as a negative thing think it as it is a think about it as a positive thing like I say learn from um, learn from your failure deal learn to deal with failures and learn from your failures you know what did you learn and what did you what did you do fail at you know analyze it and uh, trace the steps back because you can't trace dots you can't trace the dots going in the future you have to trace it going back you have to retrace the dots to see how everything fits in and how everything was orchestrated you know so definitely definitely um, remember the steps you took and remember that that pain you felt when you failed or not to remember that up uh, well yeah remember it because uh that will that's your pain is your energy that's that's your fuel when you remember that pain you remember that you don't want to go back to that and you you, you you remember how that made you feel you didn't feel so good so you want to it's, it's fuel so you, you you'll try to push yourself to never feel that again so but you still remember how that 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 feeling you know it's still there in your mind but you'll learn to overcome it in a point in time because you you've already mastered it and you you already faced it so um, very important um, remember the steps you took and visualize realistically where you're going and um, always spend time your free time trying to improve your your business you know if you if you um finish with everything and you got caught up retrace you know just make sure you you know skim through your business you know really analyze your business make sure everything is correct everything is um um spelled correctly everything is formatted correctly you know it's improvement is always key to making a successful business you always got to be improving in your free time so you can be done with something you can, you could have had advertised to a, a, a numerous amount of people and they could have been the right customers you got a couple sales but that doesn't mean it's over you want to spend your free time trying to figure out how to perfect your business you want you want to be a um a perfectionist you know you want to look back over your articles make sure your websites are meeting people's expectations you know these are these are just examples to um help you understand how to better improve your business you know make sure everything is straight and everything is correct and formatted correctly and formatted so you know become a professional a profession a perfectionist become a perfectionist cuz i'm i'm st i want to become a a greater perfectionist than i'm already than i already am i always try to re you know uh, relook over what I what I've did in the past and make sure they they meet the requirements and my you know viewer expectations and especially my expectations I want to make sure when I go look back over it and watch a video or read an article that or a blog I've made I want to make sure it's presentable and makes sense and it and actually engages with um, people so they can better understand where you're coming from and what you're trying to get them to understand so become a perfectionist always become a greater perfectionist than you were before if you already are a perfectionist and uh, you know make sure your products are right make sure everything is correct you know so always be trying to improve your business on your free time when you ain't got nothing to do and you don't want everything okay that's key to everything performance reviews you know this bit this is just a basically um, I already went over uh, five key steps though, but this is just an extra additional step that I added to um because I want to put emphasis on the um improving your business. Make sure everything is right, you know. Your outline outline the review process, you know. Um, distribute review forms, describe the frequency and timing of reviews, state the purpose of performance reviews, you know, just constantly just analyze everything. You're doing at also analyze uh, how your your um viewers are rating your um your articles or not just you but your business how your business is being rated by viewers you know analyze and see what they you can improve in because your customers might help you out they'll even if they put something negative about your business or something positive they can also be giving you they you want to love the thought of feedback because feedback is also that's why everybody every big company wants feedback because feedback is very important and valuable because you want to understand where the cus how the customer sees it and what how they how they would prefer it right
you know so uh, this is very important and uh, this is gonna be useful to, to someone if it's not useful to you then um, I'm just glad you um, took the time you know to come to my channel and watch it this is very useful I know this is gonna be useful to somebody out there you know who's starting a business so um, if this was useful for you subscribe to this channel um, hit that link down below for more information about what I do in uh, affiliate marketing online marketing and growing your own business so just hit that link down below hit that bell button subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in a later video you have a good day peace